Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Sarah and I make a ton of gift guide videos just like this one throughout the whole entire year. I already have my what I got my kid for Christmas video up this year as well as my kids stocking stuff for gift guide. I would love it if you check those out and decided to stick around. I also make a lot of plus size fashion, beauty, home decor, cook with me, and a bunch of other different lifestyle content here in my channel. So I would love it if you hit the subscribe button down below. And if you haven't already followed my other social media platforms, please do. I have an Instagram at Sarah England and a TikTok. Talk. I will have everything linked and titled and described and whatever <laughs> down below um, but I'm so glad that you're here I also already have my what I got my husband for Christmas video up so if you haven't seen that and are still looking for gift ideas for the men in your life definitely check that one out um, I feel like I found a lot of different variety in that video and I was really excited to share it with you guys and you guys have been loving it as well so thank you so much thank you so much for all your support it means the world to me I'm so thankful for each and every one of you so Without further ado, um, I'm out of breath because I was running around trying to find the rest of these presents. I just filmed my uh, kids' stocking stuffer gift guide, which will be up before this one. Um, but now I wanted to, I had a little bit of extra time before I pick up my girls, so I wanted to film this one. So, my husband is a bit picky, love him to death. Um, so, stocking stuffers typically are just stuff that I pick, nothing that he like picks out for himself or anything like that on his wish list. If you haven't watched my last video, we do Pinterest list of gift ideas for each other. It really works out for the other person to be able to shop the exact thing that they wanted. Um, and then we kind of go off of that and buy, you know, individual things that they may not have asked for, but we think that they would like, but that just gets the ball rolling. It's really, really helpful. I definitely recommend it. But like I said, with stocking stuffers, generally, it's typically just stuff that I decide that I think that he would really like and pick for him. Um, so our stockings, this is my daughter's, but um, they're just from Target. They don't have a whole heck of a lot of room. Um, they have these every single year. I think that they brought them back this year. They typically have been. I mean, we've had these for years and years now. Um, they don't have a heck of a lot of room, so not everything will fit. So I just kind of crowd everything together um, when I put his stuff all together. So we are just gonna move on in, just get started. Every single year, he gets undies. You guys always laugh when I include these, but I have given you guys a lot of um, good suggestions in the past and you've come back to tell me that you, your significant other, whoever you gave them to ended up loving them. So we're trying a new one out this year. He got really into the pouches. Um, he bought a couple of ones online that have like little hoods and little pouches for his little his little guys and um, <laughs> he absolutely loved them. So these are supposed to have like an interior pouch. We'll see if he likes them. Um, they had really good reviews. I got them on Amazon, they're New Balance, they're performance wicking, wide and soft logo, waistband, lightweight and durable, and they're supposed to have like an interior pouch. So we'll see how it works. These are his, and they have a bunch of fun colors. They're like camo -y and rainbow, not rainbow, <laughs> they're um, like lime green and I don't know, they're fun. So those are his, his little undies for this year. Um, another thing I always typically get him is face care stuff. So I don't have his cleanser in here yet. Um, that is one thing I need to get as well as his body wash. I normally get him some body care stuff. So, um, I'll get him a body wash and then his cleanser, which he loves the CeraVe, I think it's foaming facial cleanser. That's his favorite. That's what he always gets. So I'll get him that as well as like a body wash. But uh, we recently discovered these, was it last Christmas now? I don't know. We've been having them for a number of months. Maybe it's been a year already. That's wild. Um, but they're the Nip Fad Glycolic Night Pads. I don't feel like these are the normal ones I get. They're normally the Nip Fa Nip fab ones but i think they're like the bha ones these aren't normally the ones i get the guy call it fix night pads but they might be i feel like they're nip fat extreme but i don't feel like these are the same ones but it doesn't really matter we'll try these out he really really likes these pads um he's used them now like i said i think a year i think these might have been in my last gift guide if they weren't maybe they were in like my easter one i don't know but we've had them for a while and he really really likes them 
They're about $13 on Amazon um, and his skin has been so much better lately because of him finalizing a skincare routine. So um, these are going in there. Along with the like beauty items, um, he's been getting really, really, really bad dry hands lately, which is so funny because it's like we're into like the almost the third year, no, second year fully of a pandemic, of the pandemic, what have you. It's been however long, what, I don't even remember time anymore. Um, and he's been using hand sanitizer this whole entire time, but it's like this year it's really starting to affect his hands. So I found this on Target. This has like insane reviews. Like it pretty much like solved like a freaking bleeding, gaping wound. Not really, but just crazy stuff. This is from Duke Cannon. It's Bloody Knuckles Hand Repair Balm. Um, it has lanolin in it. It's fragrance free, which is something he'll like. He doesn't like ones that are heavily fragranced. And he doesn't like anything that's like sticky or feels like a film. This one apparently is supposed to be incredible for that. Um, it's called Bloody Knuckles. It's supposed to be really, really nourishing. I mean, his like, he's starting to like crack. His knuckles are cracking. His skin is like peeling off. It's getting pretty aggressive. So, um, we're going to try this out and see if he likes it. So it's Duke Cannon Bloody Knuckles. Yeah, it's a nice little guy. It was like 10 bucks. It wasn't like the cheapest, but it wasn't the most expensive. But like I said, I got it at Target. I can't, I don't want to open it, but I, it's supposed to be unscented. So we will see. I'll report back. But if you have like someone who has really bad dry hands or like works with their hands a lot, try this out. I've heard good things now. <laughs> Along the same line, I found this at um, Walmart in their like dollar spot section. This was $5. Um, this is a mint hand grooming kit. It has like a cuticle pusher, tweezers, um, a nail clipper, a toenail clipper. He goes through those things like crazy. Um, and so, I don't know, we'll try this out. Hopefully it's not like the worst quality. He hates the, uh, clippers that like feel like they just like rip the nails and actually clip them. So. Since this was like in a, a dollar spot section, he may be like, what is this? <laughs> but I thought it had like like fun little doodads. So we'll try it out. We'll see if it works, see if it's worth it. But it's just like a little men's grooming kit. It all like folds up together and you can put it in the bathroom drawer. Um, so like I said, we'll see. Hopefully it works out well. But I got this in the Walmart dollar section. Um, and then he is really into gaming. He's a big gamer. He's a PC gamer have to make that known he's a pc gamer and so he goes through these a couple times a year as well and they're the electronic dusters these are the surf on i got a two pack from walmart um we'll see how these go i mean i don't really know how to review these they're dusters um but he always asks for these they're compressed gas cleaners they work well i think i don't know he never complains i got two for him so those will go in his stocking as well Okay, so these next couple of things are kind of funny. Um, not funny, but just like new. He, he's been studying, bless his heart. He's been studying, he's been getting licensed for a whole bunch of like investment stuff and things like that. He's been working really, really hard. But he has um, been picking. He has a tendency to pick and like pull hair. Um, it's gotten really bad with the new medication that he started and so He's been pulling his eyebrows out and he has all these bald patches in them and I'm, we're trying to get him to stop it but it's like he's studying and he's reading and he plucks his hair. Um, and apparently it's a pretty common side effect of the medications he's also taking so he's naturally like a picker and it's just gotten amplified since he started this medication but he needs the medication so um, I got him some fidgets to try to help alleviate that. So this is called Bunmo Magnetic Fidget Rings. These are both on Amazon. They both had really good reviews. This is just like magnetic rings that he can just like roll around on his fingers and pull them apart and play with them when he's like studying and reading and having like idle hands. This will help him out. I'm intending these to be at his work um, so he can just like play with them and kind of focus rather than picking. So I got these. Like I said, all of these had really good reviews. Um, fidgets are like super popular now, obviously. So there's like a bunch of different options that I can choose from, but these ones like, were the less like kiddish and like primary color-y. These are just like basic black ones. And then I got him a little fidget cube. Again, I thought this would be nice, um, especially because a lot of these like controls on this feel almost like he's gaming. 
Um, so it has like almost like a joystick to me that would feel like a, a, a game controller. I mean, he doesn't necessarily play a whole lot of like PS, I was about to say PSP. Wow. PS4 or any PlayStation or what is, they have PS5s now. He doesn't really do that. He's a ga PC gamer, but it's like a little joystick, so it'll be nice. Um, and then it has like a little clicker, that one I like. Um, and then like a magnetic ball or rolly ball with like little dials. Um, this one has like little buttons. Anyway, I just thought this will be something that he can keep in his hand as well and help try to alleviate the, the picking and the plucking because he's losing all of his eyebrow hairs. And we can start drawing them on, but I know he's not gonna want that. So anyway, those are his little fidget toys. And then lastly for like a random, this isn't the last item, but this is like a random item, which I'm so excited about this one. Hopefully it works okay. So he loves to have a show running when he's taking a shower. He doesn't listen to music. I typically listen to music. He always has a show on. Typically it's either The Office or Everybody Loves Raymond, his top two favorite shows of all time. And so the other day he was saying like he wishes that he could have his phone in the shower. So then I started doing a bunch of research and I found this. It's called the Magic Box. It's a bathroom waterproof phone case. Now, the reviews on this are literally 50-50. Like some people are like, it's the best thing ever invented. I love it. And other people are like, this is the worst thing ever. I think it got pretty popular off of TikTok. Um, and so there's a ton of them on Amazon. But I went with this one. And basically, it's just like a phone... It's just a little waterproof giant phone case. It comes with like a super sticky backing so you can hook it on there and then it just pops open. If I can open it. It pops open and there's like a felt piece in here that helps push the phone forward and then you can technically like swipe and do all this stuff on your phone um, when this is closed and it's supposed to be waterproof. Now. I don't feel comfortable doing it with my own phone, okay? I'm not going to be trying that out. I just was lucky enough to be able to upgrade to the iPhone 13. I'm not going to be trying that out. But he has a phone that has literally been through war. I don't know how it has survived. It's an Android. It's a Samsung. And the thing has continued to beat on. Um, he doesn't have a case on it. You can't use them with cases. Um, because it's, it needs to be pretty much just the phone to press up against the thing, otherwise it won't close all the way. Um, but, like I said, he, the phone went in the pool with him and it's still living. It was underwater for like 30, 45 minutes and still continues to work fine. So I don't think he's as concerned about his phone. So he's gonna test it out. I'm not gonna, I don't feel safe enough to do that, but he wants to, so we're gonna try it out. I feel like this will be really exciting. I mean, he will want to, he doesn't know about it yet, but I'm really, really, really pumped for it. I think it's gonna be so fun and not something that he's going to even think about. So I don't know, it's like something I'm really, it's one of the gifts out of all the gifts I bought that I'm most excited because he just mentioned it in passing and I was like, noted and then I just went and searched it up and sure enough I was like there has to be somebody like that by now and sure enough magic box all right moving on um I got this shot glass for him I've purchased from this company before I've shared this a couple years ago unfortunately the shot glass broke so we're getting a new one this is from Ben shot this is a company that is a father-son started company from Wisconsin um, they're awesome. They are, they give back to the community. What do they do? Oh, they go online to figure out how they give back to the community. I know they do give back to the community, but, um, basically it's just a shot glass with an actual bullet ammunition. What, how, how are you going to say this? Because I don't want to, I don't know if there's an actual bullet in there. Um, and it's like forged into the glass and it's made in a formerly abandoned Thomas Edison furniture factory in rural Wisconsin. It's really cool. It's made in the USA. It's a cool brand. Um, this actually logo on it is from Grunt Style, which I'm about to share with you. I actually have these linked on my, what I got my husband for a Christmas video because I had filmed these separately because they came in afterwards and I thought I included it and I totally didn't. So it's fine. I'm included it now. So this is actually um, from Grunt Style, but Ben Shot you can buy on Amazon, um, Etsy. A lot of times there's a lot of uh, companies who or small shops who buy Ben Shot and then they'll etch their own stuff on the, their glasses. Um, but this one is from particularly from Grunt Style. Grunt Style is like a military 
brand, I would say. I mean, they're not like an actual like government company, but they do a lot of like military veteran related things. Um, they are, they have an awesome veterans program where they give back to veterans, those who are experiencing homeless, um, food shortages, uh, food insecurity, um, mental health issues. They give back to the community there. It's incredible. They really have a really awesome charity. It's a nonprofit. I definitely recommend shopping them. I do think that they are awesome and they have a bunch of like military for veterans and army and or veterans and army for veterans with army air force marines navies all sorts of that stuff um i have a bunch of different stuff so jess particularly asked for these and i'm so excited you guys are going to be like what the heck <laughs> but they're called ranger panties and they are so freaking tiny um they're the tiniest little short shorts and a lot of times they're used for like pt running and all that type of stuff which you know jazz may or may not do but more than likely, he'll just wear these to sleep. Um, they're super, super soft. They're really stretchy. They have the Grunt logo on one side and then the American flag on the other. Um, they have a nice stretchy waistband. These have incredible reviews um, on <laughs> the website. They say like they're the best things ever. So they were $19.95. They always have a ton of sales. I think I got these buy one get one free. Um, insane sales and if you are a veteran and you have an ID me um, or and I don't even like active military member or a veteran and you have an ID me account you can get I think 25% off literally all all year which I think is an awesome freaking military discount so um, I got him a pair of black ones and a green forest green OD green pair um, their logo on this one is black the logo and then the American flag. So I got him two pairs of those. And then he also put this on his um, wish list um, on Pinterest. It is a American Eagle with stars underneath it. Um, American flag on one side, grunt logo design on the other. Um, this is a 100% cotton, so I'm sure it's going to shrink in the wash, um, but that is what he asked for. So um, normally if you watch any of my videos, I always get him like a really fun, cool shirt or something like that. Um, I ended up just deciding to go with this this year because he really likes this brand um, and they give back to veterans, which I am a daughter of a veteran who was severely, severely um, mistreated and ended up eventually dying from consequences of his service um from issues like that and so i just veterans efforts and just like rehabilitation um is a huge deal to me because it is so overlooked and they're so mistreated um especially when they get back home and they need a lot of um, assistance to reassimilate into back into everyday civilian life and it's just not enough so i really am thankful for companies who do the hard work and give back to veterans because it is an absolute necessity. So, um, okay, and then lastly, I meant to share this in the middle of it, but I think this is the last one for him. I got him a little pill, a little pill container. <laughs> um, like I said, he started a new medication and he takes one in the morning and then another one halfway through the day. Um, and he doesn't want to take the whole container of pills because he doesn't want to lose them, forget them, drop them, you know. Uh, but then he takes like a little, um, Ziploc baggy every day with just like a half a pill in it and it looks really sketchy So it's like let's just make it a little less creepy where you're like pulling it out of your jacket And you're like all right, let's let's take it So instead I got him this little pill container um, that just attaches to his keychain and it's from Amazon And it's just I mean, it's literally nothing special. It's stainless steel. You can just pop his little pill in there I mean, this is such a weird thing to say for you guys to share this but if you guys have any you know, family members who are on medication and have to take it multiple times a day and like want a little, a better little case. I just thought this was nice. So this is actually the first gift I got him this year <laughs> was a little pill container. So anyway, um, that is a perfect thing to fit in his stocking though. All right, that is all that I got from my husband for his stocking. I did want to share a couple things that I picked up from my mom. Um, my dad used to always buy my mom a full on Christmas stocking. Santa came to her everything every single year, but after he passed away, my brother and I started doing that and keeping the tradition alive. And so um, I found a couple of these things from Walmart and I just thought I would share because I feel like they're nice 
stocking stuffers or things to kind of go along with your stocking um kind of to give ideas to santa so i found this set from walmart i think it was like 14 or 17 dollars um it's a three-piece gardening tool set and gloves my mom loves to garden now i think you would think gardening you would think springtime um but i feel like this is something that's going to get her really excited for spring it comes in like a really beautiful floral pattern there's little shears the little trowel the cultivator and then the gloves and i just thought it was nice it was like a perfect little stocking area kind of thing next to a stocking i don't know um but this is totally something my dad would have bought her so i got her this and then like i said in so many videos my mom loves gnomes she collects gnomes now and now i do as well because they make us think of my dad um and so i found this little apron for like seven or so dollars from walmart i don't want to open it all the way up because it'll i'll take off the tag but it says gnome sweet gnome and it has just like a bunch of cute little gnomes on it and little trees um and birdies and so i thought it was really really cute it was from walmart like i said and so that's going to go with her stocking as well and i just figured this would be nice to kind of roll up um and put with her stocking my dad used to always for her stocking would always get her she loves to cook and so he would always get her like cooking utensils and so i feel like this is like a perfect thing to kind of roll up and put inside a stocking spatulas things like that are just like perfect stocking stuffers that i don't ever see people post and i feel like they're such good things because they're really easy they fit perfectly for a stocking and they're super uh useful all right that is it for this video. I hope I gave you guys um, a lot of different ideas for your significant other or the man in your life um, or whomever in your life. I'm excited to share. It ended up being this theme of like crepe papery cardboard color. Like that's all of <laughs> all of his uh, stuff is in those types of boxes. But I'm really excited for his stocking this year. I hope he really likes it. And like I said, I will have everything try to be linked below. Some of the stuff obviously are things that you can really only get in store. But a lot of this stuff I did get up at Amazon or Grunt, like I said. And I will have it linked below. Um, I This is it. This is my last gift guide of the year. And I'm like sad about it. <laughs> I hate when they're over because I have so much fun filming them for you guys. But if you haven't caught the first three, definitely go take a look at those. Um, I hope I've given you a lot of different ideas. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season and you feel loved and are at peace. I know that the world is a hard, scary place right now, but just know that you are safe here with me. So I hope you enjoyed spending a number of minutes here just relaxing and you got some good ideas. Have a very Merry Christmas and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye guys.